हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई एम बी सिंह सी एम डी मेडी जी ग्रुप गेट टू थाउजेंड नाइनटीन एग्जाम इज जस्ट ओवर स्टूडेंट्स आर नाउ क्यूरियस टू नो अबाउट द एक्सपेक्टेड रैंक स्कोर एंड कट ऑफ्स एंड ऑल्सो द टॉप ऑफ मार्क्स एज कम्पेयर टू लास्ट ईयर दिस ईयर पेपर इज ईजी टफ और मॉडरेट दीज आर दिंग्स विच वी हैव टू डिस्कस एंड विद फॉर द डिस्कशन वी हैव विद मेड ई जी फैकल्टी टीम ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल इंजीनियरिंग वन बाय वन सब्जेक्ट आई विल टेक टू नो द ओपिनियन ऑफ द एक्सपर्ट ऑन दिस सब्जेक्ट सो लेट मी फर्स्ट टेक द सब्जेक्ट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन राजन वॉट इज योर डिफिकल्टी इन इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन सर बेसिकली इन इलेक्ट्रिकल मशीन प्रीवियस ईयर टेन मार्क्स इलेवन मार्क्स वर देयर बट दिस ईयर टेन मार्क्स वर देयर एंड नंबर ऑफ क्वेश्चन आर सेवन एंड दिस ईयर इट वॉज सिक्स एंड क्वेश्चन आर रिलेटिवली ईजियर बट Hmm. three questions were there in which hmm. calculation is needed if someone has done mistake in calculation hmm. then there may be the accuracy is always important for gate because exactly. this is the test of accuracy <coughs> exactly so. and my question is that these six questions have been well distributed in all the four sections of machine or they are concentrated yes sir it is well distributed uh, it is from transformer dc machine induction machine and also synchronous machines Okay, this is the good sign that the all areas have been asked. What is the difficulty level as compared to last year? Sir, it is easier. Easier as yes. compared to last, last year. year. Yes. Questions are factual, analytical, theoretical. What is the nature of questions? The fundamental questions are there. Whatever we have studied in class, mm -hmm. those questions are there. Right. Similar to that. Okay. Not theoretical, not very difficult. Like okay. whatever we study, mm -hmm. that that is are, that is why it is easier. Okay. Uh, Aditya, I am coming to you. Uh, electrical circuits, network theory. What is your finding as compared to last year, this year? Sir, uh, last year the paper was of 11 marks. This year mm -hmm. they have reduced the weightage to 7 marks. Okay. And if we see the uh, difficulty level, relatively it's easier as compared to the last year. And the paper was well distributed. They have asked the question from uh, different different topics and. Uh, and again the gate has done the same thing the paper was unpredictable because if we see the trend for past 3 years they have asked the question from equivalent resistances impedances mm. but this year there was no question from that kind of a topic okay so you see the questions are easier but it's still well distributed from the entire area yes sir it was well distributed questions were easier anybody who has attended the classes in medici it will be would have been a cake walk for our students okay the next subject is power system which has been always important and this year again important Balaji, what is your finding on the power system? So, in power system subject, the number of questions are increased compared to last year. This year actually comes around 14 marks. Last year it came around 12 marks. Now the standard of questions are is maintaining in all the areas of uh, power system, especially in protection part, in uh, voltage control part, or in the fault analysis, stability. All are equally distributed in the as per the question paper is concerned. Okay. So that uh, standard of questions students can. Uh, Feel Answer. very comfort in solving the questions while going through classroom notes itself. Okay. Uh, next question I am taking for the uh, subject of the control system. Hanif, you are finding on control system this year? Yeah. Uh, compared to last year, where we got four mark, uh, four questions of uh, totally six marks, but this year one question is uh, additional. So one one two mark question has increased. So total weightage this year is uh, eight marks. Uh, compared to last year, it's almost the same standard, and uh, questions are well distributed throughout the syllabus. But uh, I mean, like get is always unpredictable. We really can't say that this is important, that's important. So good coverage is given, and uh, all the topics have been well covered. Right. So control system usually has been considered a scoring area, and what about this year? Again, remains a scoring. Yes, sir. Uh, like control system always every year it's in uh, scoring one. But the, the, this year uh, all are numerics. No theory question is given. All are numerics and uh, relatively easy. So it's very much scoring for the students. Right, uh, Vamsi Krishna, I'm coming to you for the power electronic subject. Uh, this year, number of questions have increased as compared to last year. So, what is the difficulty level? Sir, uh, it's not that difficult. Last year it is nine marks. Sir. This year we have twelve marks and seven questions uh, totally. Rectifiers is the most important area. We got four questions from rectifiers and choppers. Rectifiers and choppers carries all the ten marks, sir, totally. So focus is uh, only in two topics, two or three topics, and the paper is easy when we cover the classrooms. Right. Uh, usually in electrical, the core areas are machine, power system, network, control system, power electronics, and all these areas have been majorly asked. 
this year paper is quite going toward the core areas and now the next subject i am going to take up the subject of uh, measurement which is again a course electrical engineering subjects so balaji what about observation of measurement so last year actually they have given for three marks this year measurement is not actually direct questions are actually mixing with power system application applications okay and there so was only one question one question is two marks looks like but one more question is that there is linked with instrument transformers okay that is a part of power system and measurements application okay so that is also very convenient, convenient for the students, for students. students. Okay. this is what the gate is always unpredictable this year one subject next year some other subject may be important so students cannot afford to leave any area any subject coming to the subject of general ability section and engineering aptitude section so ashutosh ji what is your observation on the aptitude section this section in electrical engineering paper had been moderate this year there have been four questions each carrying two marks and two question carrying one mark that is summing up to 10 marks while last year it had been eight questions summing up to 13 marks so from 13 to 10 marks marks had been lowered difficulty level is almost same slight i will say slight lower this year as compared to last year moreover question have been prominent from number series time and work one simple question from fundamental principle of counting which is pnc topic reasoning and question based upon ratio have been there so the set was aptitude in this particular set was slightly on the easier side as compared to last year right our uh, next subject is second part of the general ability that is the english so sapna ji what is your observation on english right sir uh, as all the experts here have emphasized that uh, the paper is full of surprises there are uh, various elements that uh, are unpredictable like uh, for i mean the same thing happened for english as well english carried a weightage of 5 marks this year last two years 2017 and 2018 the weightage was slightly uh, lesser i mean it was two marks in one paper another paper it was four mark, uh, four marks this year it was five marks but paper was standard overall good questions were asked so if you go unprepared there are chances that you may not be able to answer the questions if you are not uh, if you uh, many students actually have this perception that they don't have to prepare for english and because they know english they are able to speak english well so that's actually a wrong uh, conception i mean a misconception that students have it's very good i mean it's actually good to go prepared for the exam they test the deep understanding of language and for all the other technical subjects as well right signal and system usually is the subject of gate yes sir and for electrical engineering normally it is the electronic subject which they study with the electrical so rohit you are finding on the signal system this year the level of difficulty sir last year we have five questions of nine marks and this year we have five questions of six marks so weightage of subject is slightly less as compared to last year but uh, number of questions very, remain same a uh, number of questions remain same but get is very unpredictable so might be uh, next year a number of questions may, may be high and uh, about difficulty level uh, paper is easy as compared to last year but uh, uh, if you look at uh, question so question uh, toughness will be moderate so and uh, about uh, syllabus coverage last year coverage was also limited and this year coverage is also limited last year basic signals uh, was more important because three questions have been asked and uh, this year laplace transform is the most important chapter because three questions have been asked again so um coverage is changing every year right uh engineering mathematics is one of the most important areas for the gate examination in all the branches we have seen especially in electrical engineering the importance has increased from last year so anupam what is your finding on this as you all know mathematics uh, is uh, as sir said that is the most prominent part of uh, our electrical engineering and the strength holds on uh, this year also the marks has been increased from 13 last year to 15 and uh, the questions which has been selected is from entire syllabus and uh, for uh, from matrices you will find probability you will find partial differential equation uh, in every part of the syllabus has been included in mathematics the question are very standard and normal and uh, but you need to have the thorough complete knowledge of the subject to uh, answer the all parts in 
इंजीनियरिंग सर्विसेज एग्जाम आल्सो वी हैव सीन स्पेशली इन इलेक्ट्रिकल मैथमेटिक्स वर एक्सट्रीमली इंपॉर्टेंट एंड अगेन इन गेट 15 मार्क्स सो आई बिलीव दैट इंजीनियरिंग मैथ इज द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर दी ऑल इलेक्ट्रिकल स्टूडेंट फर्दर यू आर राइटिंग गेट और आई एस बोधी सब्जेक्ट यू कैनॉट इग्नोर एंड यू कैनॉट अफोर्ड टू लूज दिस सब्जेक्ट कमिंग टू दी एनालॉग एंड डिजिटल सेक्शन श्रीनिवास वट इज योर स्टडी ऑन दीज सब्जेक्ट्स so coming to the analog and uh, digital electronics especially for electrical engineering background students we can see these two things uh, as a single set of electronics background uh, core subjects so uh, according to the, uh, come to the weightage last year they have given 3 marks in analog circuits and 5 uh, marks in digital circuits but this year they have given more weightage in analog circuits and less weightage in digital circuits altogether last year they have given 8 marks in these two subjects and 10 marks uh, this year in 2019 my observation is that this year in analog circuits they have given uh, two questions from mosfet backgrounds uh, concepts and one question from feedback and one question from uh, op amp based question and in digital circuit they have given one question from basic gates and one question from k map all the questions are very easy and very basic uh, uh, concept related questions and uh, made easy uh, students can do all these questions very easily because uh, whoever attended for the classes all these concepts are very well covered in the classroom and one more thing coming to the analog circuits uh, generally uh, the way of questions asking in analog circuits for electrical background students is uh, from diode circuits and bjt but this time they have asked more question more emphasis on mosfet related and feedback related questions so which is related a uh, little bit surprise for electrical background students but uh, questions are easy not uh, on a tougher side so i suggest electrical engineering students also to go more thorough with the mosfet related circuits also rather than conventionally concentrating on bjt related circuits all right for oh, one more thing uh, overall when we sum up the paper standard this year as compared to last year is little lower side it, yes. it may be on easier side it it is going to make impact on the topers marks average marks and the cut off marks on all last year cut off was general category qualifying marks was 29.1 this year this qualifying mark may go up it may be more than 32 or 33 also let us wait for the final result but our prediction is that this year the qualifying marks in gate electrical engineering may be around 33 or somewhere last year topers marks were 94 this year paper is more easier on predictable size it may again go up however 94% itself is a difficult task to achieve high level of accuracy is required but many of these students who are sincerely preparing for gate they are very accurate 3 hours of time is given which is sufficient for this year paper and there was no lack of time in this paper we have seen so what i believe that topers marks also may be in the range of 95 to 97 and the cut off are also going to be up now when we talk about the opportunities through the gate score that we say gateway through the gate once the gate score is available your marks are available your rank is known to you final result is declared you can apply for the various various places like admissions in the isc iits niti and other colleges for the mtech phd or mtech plus phd combined courses niti has already re released the advertisement or notification and you can apply and for the isc you have to continuously keep on going through the website of the isc because the notification will come out immediately after the result of the gate examination is declared and there will be very limited time available to apply for it one more thing you have to notice even though your score or rank is not exceptionally good then also you should take a chance to apply in isc because in isc there are two type of courses one is based on direct gate score card which is for the mtech and there are the ms courses and some integrated courses where the gate score card is just a benchmark and there will be an interview and even up to the rank 200 and 300 also students get the call for this kind of course in the isc in iits also there are the two type of the courses for the mtech one are the core engineering related courses and other are the interdisciplinary courses if your rank is not good but you are fond of doing mtech from iit then there is chance to apply in the uh, interdisciplinary courses which are like energy studies robotics and so on so please just explore all the possible options to apply suppose you are likely to get the call for the 
public sectors, if you are expecting good marks and good rank, then you need not to stop at this moment, continue your preparation for the interview and revise subjects from interview point of view, read your basics, revise your uh, definitions, principles and application part. Also, apart from that, your other areas of hobbies, interests and academics, you have to also review. Medji will come out for the support of these things. There will be one post-gate counseling session where we would suggest you at your gate score which college and which branch will be the best suited for you. And also for the interview support for the PSUs, there will be group, discuss group discussion, group task and personal interview classes at Medji at different centers. In addition to that, I would like to tell, gate score can also be applied for the research purpose. In bar, ISRO and other DRDO type of the organizations, they keep on recruiting on the basis of GATE score. And those of you who do not get the good GATE score, but still there is chance in BARC. BARC conducts separate entrance exam also. In case you are not getting very good score, you can apply for the separate entrance examination. NITI Mumbai is one of the most preferred destination for the engineers. So in case you are looking for the industry placement, NITI Mumbai is one of the places where you can do the postgraduate diploma in industrial engineering and postgraduate diploma in industrial management. These courses will help you in the industry placement and here academic performance also plays a role and group discussion also plays a role. So even your GATE score is average, but if you do very well in the acad uh, in GD or and your academics are very good, then you may get an edge over the other students. Now coming to the next CSIR is the next next opportunity to the gate. So for the scientists see and for the integrated research program, you can also apply for the CSIR. Apart from these, there are certain MNCs which shortlist the candidate on the basis of the gate scorecard. So gate is a gateway for these several opportunities. In case your average, your score is average, then also you have to explore the different different places and there is a chance you may get. Medici has always supported these students for their requirement for the, their career and again we will continue our support if you are looking for any kind of support from us you are most welcome. This year for the first time Medici is coming out for the 70 days gate courses during the summer and these courses will be cut. These courses will be conducted in Delhi and in Hyderabad Center. These 70 days courses will be very suitable for the college going students who are in second year and third year. And during the summer vacations, you can very well utilize your time and this free time can be used for the preparation of GATE. And this preparation will definitely help you in your semester exam and it will help you in enhancing your percentage in the BTEC. So all these are the things which I would like to share in case you want to no more things from us then you can send a mail or message a mail DG has recently launched a student portal where you can put your query we will reply and we will answer to the best need for your examination right and at the end i will say stay blessed keep on preparing keep self-motivation and continue your preparation unless and until you get a final call letter in your hand thank you